Welcome to my channel. Have you ever thought about how the news shapes narratives to get the result that they want regardless of what the truth is? That's what we're going to talk about today. But first, I want to thank each and every one of you that has come to my channel and watched my videos. Those of you who have shared them, who have liked them, have commented on them, and especially those of you who have subscribed to my channel. I'm amazed by the amount of traffic that I'm getting and by the number of people that have subscribed. I just never would have expected this. I want to play a video for you. A video for you. This is by a, a sensibly a news organization called Breakthrough News. Across the country, we've seen universities unleash a wave of repression against pro-Palestinian student groups and speech. In the last few weeks, several universities have banned Students for Justice in Palestine and Jewish Voice for Peace to prominent pro-Palestinian student groups. We've also seen students disciplined merely for attending pro-Palestine protests and schools adopting definitions of anti-Semitism that conflate anti-Zionism with anti-Jewish hatred. But in the last week, New York University committed one of the most blatant acts of repression yet when they suspended a... Have you ever thought about that? How do you conflate anti-Semitism with anti-Zionism. Aren't they the same thing? Freshman year student stripped of her scholarships, barred her from getting off-campus housing, all for tearing down one of these. So just to get right into it. Now, did you notice when he held that poster up, he held his hand over the picture of a person? Let me, let me show you that again. All for tearing down one of these. See how his hand's covering the picture? Just to get right into it, you <coughs> tore down these Israeli propaganda Excuse posters me. that were posted on one of the NYU buildings, and someone filmed it. Uh, what happened after that? So after I was... So he calls them propaganda pictures. What were being posted at NYU is pictures of the Israeli hostages that Hamas has. That's what he's calling propaganda pictures. I'm tearing down these posters outside of Tisch Hall. Um, a student at NYU circulated the video on social media um, and she was calling for us to be doxxed. Uh, shortly after celebrities, public figures, and Zionist platforms with millions of followers were sharing our information publicly, um, the student also created a petition uh, which received over 10,000 signatures to call for the expulsion of everyone in the video. Um, I faced relentless backlash um, from right-wing media and news outlets for weeks, um, most calling for me to be jailed, expelled, deported, assaulted, and to be sent to Gaza. Uh, NYU refused to cover off-campus housing um, because I'm on scholarship, so I couldn't really afford to live in New York otherwise. Um, so despite it being, it like no longer being safe for me to live in dorms, um, they denied me access to off-campus housing and now they're denying me access to higher education. So just to get this straight, NYU suspended you, took away your scholarship, made it impossible for you to afford housing, all because you tore down a poster. Mm -hmm. Um, as a part of my scholarship that would grant me on campus housing. And so because I was suspended, I would have to move off campus after the semester, essentially kicking me out of the dorms, um, leaving me unhoused and also denying me access to any higher education until fall 2024. Wow. And they have also restricted my privileges. So I am not able to attend on-campus, off-campus events, or participate in any student clubs. Now, I want you to think about what's going on here and put it in context. Let's pretend that we're back in 1939 and you have just found out about Kristallnacht. If you don't know what that is, Google it. And you have someone who's posting pictures of the people that were killed and kidnapped during Kristallnacht. And then you have someone like this 
tearing those pictures down, claiming they're propaganda. No, they're not propaganda. They're evidence. They're evidence of crimes that were committed. Hamas has committed horrendous crimes. And for that, they should receive opprobrium from the entire world. But they won't. There is a certain percentage of the world that will support the Palestinians no matter what they do. They insist that the crimes that Hamas committed were merely a protest response to what Israel has been doing to them. You, you can't... You cannot imagine what this would be like if we were talking about Nazi Germany. But we're not talking about Nazi Germany. We're talking about their protégés. The Hamas terrorists located in Palestine voted into office by the Palestinian people who are committing acts of hor horrible criminal activity murdering people, cutting off the heads of babies, putting babies in ovens and burning them to death, raping women, killing children, kidnapping elderly people and young people and babies, and in some cases killing them. That's what we're talking about. And she's upset because when she tore down the posters of people that were kidnapped victims of Hamas because, in her words, they were propaganda. She got a backlash. <laughs> it's amazing to me. It's absolutely amazing to me. If you read through this article, and I'll put a link to the video and a link to the article uh, in the description. But she tore down posters featuring Israeli hostages who had been abducted by Hamas terrorists on October 7th. And you notice how <clears throat> what Hamas is doing now is they're demanding a ceasefire. They're saying, you need to stop because you're being really mean. Well, when someone commits a heinous crime, the proper response is to be mean. It's to kill them. It's to put them in jail. It's to make sure that they can never commit such an offense again. That's why we have things like capital punishment. That's why we have things like jail. That's why, why we have prisons. To put away people who commit crimes. Well, how do you do that when it's a group of terrorists attacking a country. You do it through war. And that's what Israel is doing. They're waging war against Hamas. They're going out of their way to try and save as many Palestine, Palestinian civilians as they can, despite the fact that the Palestinians support Hamas. But there are going to be, there are going to be civilian casualties. There always are in every war. It's unavoidable, especially when the enemy uses them as human shields and hides among them and creates their uh, headquarters and their ammunition storage dumps and their attack points underneath hospitals and other public buildings that are supposed to be off limits during war. It's, it's absolutely disgusting to me that people can make these arguments and claim this is propaganda when what they're doing is they're posting up on a board pictures of people that were taken hostage by Hamas. Think about 911. What happened after 911? <clears throat> people came down to the site. And they posted pictures of their loved ones. They hoped that they had survived, and they posted pictures of them. But almost 3,000 died. But they held out this slender thread of hope that somehow, some way, their loved one 
would be found alive. That's what's being done by posting these posters. And she says they're propaganda and wants them torn down. They're not propaganda. They're evidence of the crimes that Hamas committed, and she doesn't want those crimes exposed. And she's suffering the consequences of her actions, as well she should. Society should shun every single person who supports Hamas. Every single one. Every person who says, from the river to the sea, Palestine shall be free, should be shunned by the good people by people with principles and ethics. They won't be shunned by evil people. They'll be celebrated because evil always celebrates evil. <clears throat> but the job of we as citizens of this country and as honest and good people is to stand up for the right and to condemn the wrong. In no uncertain terms. And to do it loudly. And do it repeatedly. And do it publicly. And that's what the Americans are doing. Because Americans have recognized that what Hamas did is evil. And unforgivable. And should be punished. Rightfully so. Because that's the only way you put a stop to evil is by punishing it. As always, I pray that you, my viewers and my subscribers, will be abundant, that you'll live a long life, that you'll be healthy, and that God will keep you safe from harm. And I pray that God will do the same for every person that you love, those who you treasure in your heart. And I also pray that you'll be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will let your requests be made known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam-era vet, out.